Thank you, Art and Mr. Toastmaster. Let me see a show of hands. How many of you have a bicycle? Okay, there are a few. How many of you ride them for enjoyment, just for fun? Okay, how about exercise? All right. Anybody commute or run errands with your bicycle? Okay, keeps going downhill. <laughs> I used to do all three of those things with my stable of trusty steeds. Notice I say used to. This was not a capricious choice to back away. I started getting problem, having problems with my hands. Resting on the handlebars, they'd start going numb. So every 10 minutes or so, I'd have to take my hands off the handlebars and shake them out. So I had to get a different bicycle and I ended up with a recumbent. It feels like you're sitting in your easy chair, feet up on the pedals pedaling. It's not a bad ride, but it's certainly different from your conventional bicycle. You're not able to stand up and pedal using your weight when going up a hill. And because it has a higher center of gravity, it doesn't seem as stable as a regular bicycle when you're trying to go up a hill at slow speeds. Not long ago, a good friend of mine bought a couple of e-bikes or electric bikes. I got a chance to try one. I was hooked. My wife got a chance to try one of them too. She also really enjoyed it. So I can see e-bikes in my future. I did a lot of research before buying anything. I'm going to pass along some information to you that I found. There are three basic classifications for e-bicycles. Class one, class two, and class three, very original. Class one is what they call pedal assisted, and it has a top speed of 20 miles per hour. After 20 miles an hour, the motor will no longer help you out. Class two bicycles also have a top motor speed of 20 miles per hour, but instead of being pedal assisted, they have a throttle just like a motorcycle. So you twist the throttle, away you go, no pedaling required. The class three is a pedal assist bicycle that has a top speed of 28 miles per hour. So that's pretty fast bicycle. Well, let me explain a couple of terms, or at least one. Pedal assist, what is that? When you're pedaling, the bicycle will figure out, determine how hard you're pedaling. At a certain point, when you start pedaling a little harder, the motor picks that up and starts kicking in and helping you, assisting you as you ride. Most of these electric bikes have different levels of help. So if you're going up a hill and you want to get up there quickly, you go to the high speed, high assist, or save some energy for later, you can go on the economy mode and have to put more of your own effort into it. And then, as I mentioned, the throttle is just that, just like the accelerator on your car. Where can we ride these e-bikes? Well, the state of California, classifies electric bicycles as regular bicycles, the class one, two, and three bikes. So pretty much you can ride a e-bike just like you do a regular bicycle, specifically on the roads. You can ride e-bikes on wreck trails, such as the Pacific Grove Trail or up in the Fort Ord State Park area, as long as it's a class one or two for Pacific Grove and Monterey Trail, and in the Fort Ord, only a class one is allowed there. The e-bikes are allowed, I say, on trails, class two, class three bikes, you can use on a tra trail if that trail is alongside, adjacent to a roadway. 
Class three, however, because of their higher speeds are restricted. You cannot use them on trails, bikeways, equestrian trails or hiking or recreation trails unless, as I said, there's an adjacent path or whoever's in charge of that trail permits them by ordinance. So watch out if you're going to get something, you need to make sure you don't have a class three bicycle e-bike. Now, if you are interested in some, what are some things you wanna look at? Well, one thing would be the price. Most bikes are in the range of maybe 600 to $1,000. They can go as high as $14,000. Something to help you out. They do have rebates for some of these things, trying to be more environmentally friendly. How big a motor do you need? The more power in the motor, the faster you can accelerate, the faster you can go up hills. Battery size, bigger the battery, the farther you can go on a single charge, but that comes at a price. They will be more expensive and they will be heavier. What type of bike do you want? Is it a road bike? Is it going to be a cargo bike? What is it that you need? And then carrying capacity. Is it just for you? Or are you gonna be hauling kids, groceries, that sort of thing? So a lot of things to consider if you're in the market for an e-bike. I hope I've exposed you to something that will excite you like it excites me. If you run errands or commute on an e-bike, think how it's going to benefit you and the environment. There will be a bit of an upfront cost, but let's face it, with gas at $5 a gallon, it's not going to take too long to recoup your initial investment. So be active, be proactive, help yourself and your environment. Get on a bicycle. And if it's an e-bike, it'll make it even easier. Mr. Toastmaster. <laughs>